The target calculator that was released with Reloaders Workshop version 1.1, uh, to say the least, has been wildly popular. Uh, I've gotten quite a few uh, requests for new features and things like that. One of the most uh, the most requested features for the target calculator is some image manipulation tools. So, uh, with Reloaders Workshop version 1.1.003, which will be released. Uh, probably around June 13th, June 14th of 2016. Uh, it has the, the image manipulation tools. Now, one of the, let me go ahead and open up the target image here. One of the requested tools is the ability to rotate your target. Well, if we look under the image menu item up here, we have a rotate. And we can rotate the image right or left 90 degrees. It also has a uh, shortcut key, Control alt r for rotating right, Control alt l for rotating left. So if I just go ahead and rotate the image to the right, 90 degrees, it looks like that. Now I'll use the shortcut key, Control alt r to rotate it right again. So I can rotate it, just keep rotating right until eventually it ends up back where it was. Uh, I can also rotate to the left, same way, I'm using the Control-Alt-L key to rotate to the left. Very easy to do. Now, uh, one problem you may run into is when you take your, your photo, you may have your camera oriented improperly, or it's easy to do with a, with a cell phone uh, to have it oriented wrong, and you end up with an upside-down target. Well, it also has a flip feature, so you can use Control alt f or just hit flip here, and that'll flip your target over, so you can go ahead and start marking it up uh, with a target that's right side up without having to retake the photo or use a uh, uh, image processing tool like uh, Inkshot Pro or something along those lines. Uh, you'll notice that unlike a lot of the image uh, tools or the, the Photoshop kind of things, when it does a flip, it actually ends up looking correct. Uh, with some of the imaging tools, when you flip it, it, it the numbers would still be upside down, kind of, or wouldn't look quite right, uh, even though the image has been flipped over. So uh, this actually, you know, flips it uh, properly for you. Okay. Now another requested feature. Let me open a, a target here. Is the ability to zoom in on a particular part of the target, uh, especially especially useful if your target uh, was taken, the photo was taken from kind of far away, and, and you can't really, the holes are too small, that kind of thing. Well, you have a zoom feature. You can uh, hit Control Alt Z or just hit Zoom here. What that does is put your mode into the it says select area to zoom, and it gives you a little crosshair here to to zoom in on. So I'm just gonna drag. I'm gonna left click and hold, and then drag that box around the area that I want to zoom in on. Now you notice it starts out red here. The zoom box has to be at least 300 pixels uh, wide and 300 pixels high. Uh, it won't zoom a tiny, you know, a little 10 by 10 area. You, the resolution would be horrible. So I'll let go right here, and you'll see it zooms in on that part of the image. Uh, I can zoom again if I need to, and you know, zoom in a little closer, get closer and closer. The, the really important parts here is that I have the aim point uh, in the in the image, so that I can set my aim point, and I have all the shots that I made in order to set the uh, uh, to mark the shots. Okay, so those are the two important things to have when when you're zooming. Now, zooming is also handy if you've got a uh, target that has, like this one here, I've taken you know five different sets of uh, uh, test shots, uh, you know, testing different loads with my with a 223. And if you just want to focus in on one of them, I'm going to go ahead and just zoom in on the the middle target. Sometimes you have to make the box a little bigger uh, than you want really want to. Uh, because of the 300 pixel limitation, but you can continue to zoom in until you get just the area 
on that target that you need. Okay, so you can you can zoom in as many times as you, as you need to in order to get just the part of the target that you're looking for. Okay. Now, one thing you need to know about zooming or rotating is if you have already marked your shots and your aim point, like we have on this particular target. If I attempt to zoom, it's going to tell me, warning, you've already set the scale, the aim point, and have marked five shots for this target. Changing the target image will cause this information to be lost. Are you sure you want to continue? Well, if I say yes here, you'll see all my markings have, have gone away. My mode goes to select area to zoom. So I'm going to zoom in on an area here. And then what I have to do then is set my aim point again. Uh, set my scale. It goes to the set scale mode. I'd have to set my scale, set my aim point, mark my shots over again. So uh, if you zoom in on a target that's already had the shots marked, or uh, even if you rotate a target, uh, let me load that up again. Even if you just rotate a target, if I attempt to rotate it to the right, it's going to give me the same message. Uh, because if I rotate the image, of course, the location of the shots and all of that will change. So you'll lose all that information. So make sure when, before you start marking your shots and uh, uh, doing your uh, uh, aim point and, and scale and all of that, make sure you've got the image the way you want it. Rotate it properly, flipped properly, zoomed in the way you want it. Do all that first and then mark your aim point, your shots, and so on, and your scale. Okay? So, those are the changes uh, to the target calculator that have been released with version 1.1.003. The only other uh, thing that we have is I've added a help menu, uh, which allows you to get to the target, the tutorials uh, related to the target calculator. Here we have the main target calculator tutorial, which shows you how to use it. Uh, we have the tutorial on scanning targets. That's a little four-minute video. And then the manipulating targets uh, video, which is the video you're wa actually watching right now. Uh, also added an about box, which is uh, the same about box that you uh, get from the main program. Uh, the reason folks wanted these video tutorials here is they, if they just wanted something to, to look up something on, on the tutorial, they didn't want to have to leave the target calculator and go back to the main uh, Reloaders Workshop program to get to the, the tutorial video. They just wanted to be able to look it up real quick while they were right in the middle of, uh, uh, you know, marking up their targets. Um, this, these, all three of these will take you to YouTube and, and show you the YouTube uh, uh, tutorial. Okay, so that's all for now. Uh, that's what uh, the new changes. There's quite a few more changes in the works for the target calculator, but. Uh, for now, that's what we have, and uh, future releases will will have uh, other uh, other capabilities. That's all for this video. I hope you liked it. If so, please click the like button. Maybe even subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and happy reloading.